Alright Ben, hopefully this will get you started. Click on your assessment task. You know how to do that. Let's have a look at it. There are two parts. There is the 30 day challenge, which you can see here, the 30 day challenge. And that is just for you to photograph 30 items of the same color. Now we've explained that. So just get your camera. And for you, since we're getting short, and it's kind of like day 15, you'll have to take two photographs a day of something that's blue or green or yellow or any color you like. And in the end, we're going to display that as either a poster or a series of photographs or some prints or online, however you'd like to do it. So I know you know how to do that part. We'll just look at part one, a little bit of research and history, okay? to give you that extra marks. Now, the new one, it should be here, it's due on the 1st of April, okay? And it's really getting you to understand that you have a self-reflection. In other words, you've chosen your own photographs, okay? And you've decided to display them, okay, in a certain characteristic style, however you like. Realistically, your photographs will tell something about you. Okay. You also have some t type of artistic intention, so that also means what are you doing with the photographs? Okay, a little bit of techniques, and we've spoken about some of those while you've been out of the classroom. But I'll give you an idea what we call the rule of thirds, or we all use a pattern, or we use a technique of just a theme or a color. You've also going to experience that as well, and we're also looking at certainly some historical practice okay in other words past pho uh, photographers who've done similar things and you should use we get hung up on the internet examples of this okay but down the track we've also shown some other photographers who've done this let's skip to the more important part so i would okay make a powerpoint and you know how to do that you click on your powerpoint and you're going to click choose one of these styles okay so let's just say I'm going to tell you try and pick this one okay that's gelatin silver prints this is about how someone in the old days produced photographs so go to Wikipedia probably or Google and type in gelatin silver prints okay and you should find realistically who invented it, okay, their name, where they came from, their birthplaces, okay, and if you can, throw in a photograph of the person. You don't have to do much, just a paragraph, their date of birth, and presumably they're dead if they're fairly old, okay, and this will add up to a few marks over here. And then what you have to explain is what is this process in other words what does this mean gelatin silver prints now maybe for you it might be easier if you could find a YouTube clip and then you paste that into the PowerPoint this one says what is the date of the process was made in other words go back and find historical stories of when they did this you can throw in a couple of pictures here and then you have to list the steps. Now normally there will be a list somewhere of how to make this photograph. It will be a chemical reaction and it's five marks. Now you could do this, you just step one, step two, step three. And in the end it will just say how long does this take. Some photographs took a long time to do. Maybe 24 hours overnight because they have to mix the chemicals on different days. So maybe it doesn't, it's not like today where it's instant. In those days you had to have equipment and chemicals to bring out the picture. And what do you need? Okay, so obviously it's the same thing, the list of the equipment. You should be able to find how to do the process on a page somewhere. If you like, just copy and paste it and then include maybe a YouTube video that you found to put it in there. Now there are two, select two images 
that use the processes and answer the following questions. So you just have to go out and find a picture on the internet, okay, that you can see that's used this type of process. It says write a two sentence summary of what is happening in the image, okay, and in other words, what do you see? Okay, what do you see in the picture? And more than likely, this is the easy bit, image one. What is the name of the photographer? What is the date of the photograph? What is the name of the artist? Okay, so find a picture you like, put it in, and just answer those simple questions. Now here's this, what is the photography composition? In that case, you just have to tell us, what do you see? If there's a guy sitting in a car, smoking a cigarette, then you write that down. Okay, and then what are the elements of art? Now the easy thing is, if they've used black and white, they've used a little bit of line, they've changed the colour or the texture, you have to look at the photograph and say, hmm, is that a perfect photograph or has somebody done something to it? And then I guess some photographs are very small, so you have to tell me it's a large photograph and small one. Okay, that's what it's asking here. And is really the photograph a positive or negative depiction most of them will be a, a positive shot come and see me with you you're not sure what that means but if you take a photograph of a cat then and you see the cat clear as day it'll be a positive okay sometimes there's a it could be a it's more of emotion in the picture so the last one's worth one mark okay what is it really expressing? Is it happiness, joy, whatever? Okay, down to the red bit. This one says, for image two, you have to write a summary of what's happening in the image. Another image, another photograph. Okay, and repeat it. What's the name of the title of the photograph? What's the date of the photograph? Okay, you should be able to find that. Many famous photographs will find that. Run through the same lot of questions you've done before. Okay and you should be able to finish the assessment task. The rest of it, okay, we'll talk about how to do. So let's go back over it quickly. You are picking this one. You're going to Google that name. Tell me who, what the person was and the dates and birth, date of birth and their death. So you're going to tell me who's the guy who invented it. And how did he do it? Okay, that's the main thing. And then, then you're going to find two photographs, okay? And, it, and two famous photographs. Find somebody who's famous. It's a lot easier. Okay, do the blue section and then the red section, image one and two. And then this one's yours, the 30-day scheme, which you and I will talk through. All right, mate, I think that's it. Take your time. You'll be good at it.